In this video we'll be going through setting up your eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener to work with Siri on iOS devices. We'll also be going through how to set up widgets on iOS devices or Apple devices and also Android devices for easier switching of your eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener. A couple things that I already have set up is I have already downloaded the Smart Life application, I've created an account and I have set up my eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener within the application Smart Life. We'll now move on to setting up the eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener to Siri on iOS devices. It is worth noting that in order to have your eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener controlled by Siri, you must still have the Shortcuts application installed on your device. Shortcuts by default comes pre-installed on all iOS devices, however sometimes gets removed if it hasn't been used. If you have removed the Shortcuts application or you can't find it, you can simply go to the iOS App Store and download the Shortcuts app. As long as Shortcuts is installed on the device, you can continue on with setting up Siri to control your eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener. To start off, I will open up Smart Life. As you can see, I actually have a couple garage door openers set up in Smart Life. And on the bottom, I will select Scene. Once I've selected Scene, you can see on the top it says Automation and Tap to Run. I'll move up a little bit farther and select the plus button in the top right hand corner. And I will launch a Tap to Run. Under Tap to Run, it will say if launch tap to run then and I would then add a task underneath there. A tap to run is basically a button or a trigger that you can use to then fire off a series of sequences. In this case we're simply going to use it to open or close the eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener. So under the then option I will hit the plus button. I'll select control single device and I'll select the device that I want it to run. In this example I'll select garage door one. Once you get to this screen, depending on the eKairo model that you have, there might be a few different options. In the first example, you can see that there is simply an action option, which if you select that, and for this example, I want this to open garage door one and save. If the set of options that you have looks more like the second device, you would then select opener, and then in this case, you would select open. Or if your available options look like the third device, you can simply select switch and then on which in this case is the same thing as open. Once you've set your eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener to open, you can select next, and here you can see the actions that have been set. Upon launching the tap to run, it will then open Garage Door 1. Looks pretty simple, so I'll select save and name this tap to run. Here you can see I have the tap to run, open Garage Door 1. This would basically be one of the methods that you could use to open the eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener. And what you'll see is if I actually push this button, it will tell the eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener to open, and you should hear the click of the relay within the device. There you could hear the click, and typically the garage door would then open, and the sensors would separate. One thing you'll notice is once the sensors are separated as they are now, if I select this tap to run, the eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener will not do anything because the garage door is already open. And if I wanted to add this to Siri, I would just select the button on the bottom that says Add to Siri. Upon selecting the button, I would select the plus icon, and I could change the voice phrase as desired. Here you can see that the default is, Hey Siri, open garage door one, because I named my tap to run, open garage door one. One thing to note is that it's very important that you use the exact voice phrase that you would like to use to open this garage door. Recently, due to an iOS update, the shortcuts method of operating your garage door has become a little bit more specific. So in this example, if I wanted to say, open my garage door, I would need to make sure that I put that in for the text phrase compared to only open garage door. In this example, I would just say open garage door. So I'll remove the one. And now that will be the voice phrase that I can use to trigger and activate Siri to open my garage door. So here you can see that I have that added to Siri. And if I say, open garage door. You can see that the tap to run was actuated and the garage door open. If you end up seeing something that's saying you don't have the HomeKit accessory or you need to scan a QR code, just make sure that you're using the exact voice phrase that you put into Siri. And you can check that pretty easily by selecting add to Siri again, selecting your garage door and seeing what that Siri prompt is. Again, here you can see it says, hey Siri, open garage door. So the, in the event that I said, open my garage door, this tap to run may not work, which would not activate my garage door. 
So if you're having any issues actuating or activating the garage door through Siri, just make sure that you're using the exact voice phrase for both opening and closing that you've set within this screen. Now we can go on and create the close sequence. I will select the plus button, launch tap to run, select the plus option, select control single device. Again, I'm using garage door one, action, and close. I'll select next. And in this example, I'm actually going to change the name of this action. It'll make it a little bit cleaner to close garage door. So now I can add the close garage door to Siri by selecting add to Siri, select the plus icon. In this example, you can see the voice phrase is a hey Siri close garage door and I'm okay with that. So I'll select done. And now I've added Siri open and close functionality to the eCaro smart garage door opener. So in this case, if my garage door was open and I said, hey Siri, close garage door. You can see that that would trigger the relay within the eCaro smart garage door opener, which would then close the garage door. And if we go over to the shortcuts app, we can actually see what's being done here. Here you can see that I have two shortcuts that have been created through the Smart Life application. One of them opens the garage door and the other one closes the garage door. One of the cool things you can do once you do have the Smart Life shortcuts within the shortcuts application is the ability to add icons to your home screen for quicker access. To do that, all you need to do is press the three dots on one of the shortcuts, select the share button down on the bottom, and select add to home screen. Here you can change the name and or icon. Here I'll select add, and I'll do the same thing with the open garage door. Once I've done that, I can select the home button and I can see both shortcuts that would now allow me to open or close the eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener directly from my home screen. Now we're gonna go through how you can add widgets to your iOS device. As a note, they can be added either to the iOS device's home screen after you've added them within the widget panel. If you swipe over, you can access that panel, and if you go to the bottom, there's an option to edit. By selecting edit, you will reveal a plus icon that you can select on the top. And once you reveal that plus icon, you can scroll down and you can see the different widgets that are available. The first set of widgets uh, show the entire widget, although if you go down further, you can see the other widgets that are available depending on the applications you have installed. In this example, you can see that we have Smart Life here, which if I select it, I have a few different options for widgets. These first widgets are going to go through the different smart scenes that you could select, and these will show basically the different tap to runs or automations that you have within your Smart Life application, whereas the other widgets you can see here on the top say Smart Device. And so those will simply show the devices that you have within Smart Life. You have a small one which will show just one device or a large one that, which will show up to four Smart Life devices. I'll choose the smart one by selecting add widgets and you can see that that widget has been added. Now if I select done and I press and hold on the widget, I will be able to edit the devices that I want to have within that widget. I can then choose, in this example I'll do garage door one and I'll choose garage door two. So now garage door one and garage door two are added to the widget and I can take that widget if I'd like and pull it onto my home screen. Now I've added that widget to my home screen and if I wanted to use that widget, I could simply select the garage door I wanted to look at and it'll bring me straight into that specific garage door where I can then open, close, or control it. So this is how you can add the Smart Life widgets for the eCaro Smart Garage Door Opener to your home screen or you can leave them over here in the app pane or app panel. Now we'll step through how to add the devices on an Android device. On the Android device, you obviously have to have Smart Life installed and have the setup completed. However, all you need to do is go to the home screen, press and hold on the home screen, and you can go down to widgets. Once you go down to widgets, you're gonna to wanna to find the Smart Life widget, which in this case is here, and there's a couple options. You can either do the devices or the scenes, similar to the iOS widgets, where the devices will show the specific devices you have within Smart Life, and the scenes will show the different tap to runs or automations that you have within Smart Life. In this example, I will select devices or device, 
and all you have to do is press and hold and it will allow you to place it wherever you'd like on your home screen. Once you've placed it on your home screen, you can see that you can either resize it or you can select those different devices to open or close your garage doors in this example. So this is how you would add the Smart Life device widget on an Android device. I will note that if you are using the Home Assistant or the uh, Google Assistant, there are some things that you can do that will make this process even simpler, and those are described over in the Google Assistant or Google Home setup video that we have. And so now you can see how simple it is to add the Smart Life device widget on an Android device. In summary, in this video we went through how to use the eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener with Siri, then we talked about how to set the eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener up with widgets on iOS or Apple devices, and then we went through how to set up the widgets on Android devices. We hope that you found this video informative, and we hope that this video allows you to work smarter and not harder.